is this famous piece of the road where we are going south of uh, Tuzi and again you know here this is the main traffic I cannot understand uh, north south Croatia to Albania, uh, Albania. And behind this mountain is Albania and then Škodra this is the Škodra lake on that side on that is the mountains here is the railway line this is very important strategic part and by the way this road is already very good improvement to what it was 10 years ago but that there is no bypass road I cannot understand that there is no highway is even less understandable but uh, at least a bypass road one could think uh, is necessary to connect Albania to Montenegro and to the EU in Croatia and you know here's of course good land you know with uh, wine and with a lot of agriculture potential some of the best lands this is the old road this is how it looked yeah and here you see uh, this hill up uh, on the other side you will see the Škoda uh, lake and uh, there is a huge agriculture potential I understand but still you need a bit of land for uh, infrastructure decent roads not like in the past here is the past road and here you see the new road and this is the main area of communication next to, to the railway line between uh, Montenegro and um, Albania. There is now two other roads on the coast and in the mountains. They have opened a new one, but still this is the uh, Transadriatic Highway, if you want to call it like this. And it's the only way, um, you know, that's the only real decent way and it's really very deeply problematic. Here is this wonderful Shkata Lake. Some of you who have watched my videos have seen that already. And you see that there is um, now some ship. <laughs> And you see the road, and you see that uh, this is uh, deeply problematic that we don't have this highway. And again, I call for the EU to fund that and uh, to take that uh, responsibility. Here is the old road, this is the new road. This is how the Balkans should have been already 20 years ago, and partly it was. This is a normal national road, and that's good to have, but it's not really big news. What we need now is a decency. That's the old road here, you see that? It was really very bad. And we need a highway now. And at least uh, urgently a uh, ring road. These are some of the border fortifications of the past because we are now coming at the former Yugoslavian um, Albanian border. And it was very contested and the relations were always very complicated. Now, Montenegro and Albania have excellent relations. That's very good very happy about it and that is also normal between allies and here you see the railway up there and the road below it yes it's a bit you know from the geography I've argued many times uh, to build it uh, here at long not uh, too close to the Skada Lake and to cross the Skada Lake in inland to bypass it inland yeah it's time to uh, take an afternoon nap <laughs> I say thanks a lot uh, for your attention and all the best and more to come uh, from the beautiful city uh, of Tirana now on my road uh, to Tirana. Again, I will be very happy to be in that beautiful city and I will keep you posted from that congress about energy projects where I'm going now. Bye.